55 races without a win for the man who has won on this track more than anyone else, Dale Earnhardt. He is the story today. Two seconds and a third the last three times out. Dale Earnhardt has enjoyed more success here at Talladega than anyone in the history of the sport with those seven major wins. Yet Dale's most recent memories include the worst moment of his career right here in this race last year. This CBS Sports Racing Profile is sponsored by Brewery Fresh Budweiser, the king of beers. You could see the car, the flashes of the cars as the car was rolling. You'd see the other flashes of the other cars hitting the car. And it was bouncing around quite a bit. And the pain was pretty sharp because I broke my shoulder in that first hit. And uh, the danger aspect of it, you know, was pretty uh, serious. It was pretty close to hitting home there. As you get older and you get hurt, the window of opportunity to come back is very, very narrow. And you know that mentally. I don't think it has an effect on me. It may, it may without me knowing it, but I don't think it does. On August 31st, Earnhardt mysteriously blacked out at the beginning of the race at Darlington. Doctors never found the reason for the problem. Uh, that little situation that happened to us at Darlington, we went through a lot of tests and found out we were in great shape, in better shape than most people thought. I, I sort of wrote it off to that, you know, it was some kind of chemical imbalance. You got plenty of money. Don't need that to, to keep racing. Uh, is it worth the risk to keep on going? Sure, to win. I mean, that's what we've always done. The money's never been a factor. We raced when we didn't have any. <laughs> he's the intimidator. You know, when, when he's at his best, watch out. He's a dirty, rotten scoundrel. Dale Earnhardt is bad to the bone. He's not a guy that you want to have on your bumper here at Talladega on the last lap. What makes you an intimidator? Well, you know, on a given day, we're pretty tough to beat when we're right. And, uh, but uh, if you, you know, get the car close, I can, I can race with you and, and probably beat you if I'm on pretty close to equal terms or the car's close. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been a long time since it's been that way, but it feels good to be racing like we have in the last couple of races. It feels like the old, the old team we had. This uh, recent success that you've had, does that... Uh make you more content with the year and get you and the team pumped up? No, not really. I mean, you know, we, we've not had a good year. And, you know, we're in the top five in points, and, that, and that's good. That's a competitive place to be, but we want to win some races. We've still got four races to go, and we can win some races, and that might make the season look a little better. Might, to end up on a winning note is what we'd like to do. I think Dale Earnhardt is the best race driver that's ever been in a stock car. How do you feel about that? Well, yeah, that's a big statement. <laughs> I don't, you know, I think my dad was the greatest when, when it comes to racers, but, uh, and Richard Petty and he, all these guys, and uh, I, I just love to race, Ned. I, I don't claim to be the best. I like to win, and, and we've, we've really been fortunate. We've com accomplished a lot in racing, and uh, there's a lot of guys out there on a given day and whoop your butts. So you gotta, you got to work hard at it every day. I don't know that we're the best. Will race 56 be the one in which Earnhardt turns it around? All eyes will be on number three today. Dick Bergeron is standing by with a pit crew that stands tall behind Earnhardt. Ken, for Earnhardt to win today, the seven men who are seated on the wall must perform flawlessly. They are the seven men who will jump over the wall and service Earnhardt's race car. Jimmy Elledge will do the front tires. Jerry Haley, who's seated beside him, he's going to carry those tires and index them so they fit perfectly on the hubs. Mark Armstrong is going to do the rear tires on the car. He's the guy on the right. David Rogers is going to carry him out. Armstrong is so focused on his job, he won't even put that wrench down during his entire tire change. Mike Moore, he's the man on the jack. He's a big guy. He's got to be. He's 6'4", 255 pounds. He's going to pick up this 3,400-pound stock car with one pump on the jack. His most important job, drop the car at exactly the right moment. When he drops the jack, Earnhardt knows it's time to take off. 
If he drops it too early, Earnhardt is liable to leave before all the lug nuts are tight. That would obviously be a problem. If he takes too long and drops it slow, well, Earnhardt wastes time on pit road, and he doesn't want to do that. Out back, Chocolate Myers and Steve Mews. Mews is the guy who catches the gas. Chocolate Myers is perhaps the most recognized face of all the men on pit road. He's been with Richard Childress for 15 years. His goal, get this nozzle right in the gas tank. These guys have performed very well in 1997. They have done a bunch of pit stops under 17 seconds. They're going to try to do that today and do it exactly right. Ken Squire. Thank you, Dick. Coming up.